two good reasons to invest money are to keep it safe and to watch it grow. Now, keeping it safe usually happens when we put the money in an institution like a bank. And watching it grow means we earn interest on the money, so we have more money than we started out with. So how do we know how much interest we'll get? Well, it depends. It depends on how much you invested. If you invest some money, you'll get some interest. If you invest a lot of money, you'll get a lot of interest. It also depends upon the interest rate. Since interest is a fraction or a part of what we invested, if the interest rate is small, we get a small amount of money. And if the interest rate is larger, we get a larger amount of money. And then finally, the interest that we get will depend upon how long we invest. So the longer we invest our money, the more interest we'll earn. The method used to calculate interest will also affect how much interest we earn. So let's start by looking at simple interest. Suppose we deposit $1,000 at 4% annual simple interest for two years. Now we'll put the money in the bank over time, from the start to the end of year two. So at the beginning, we take our $1,000 and put it in the bank. Then a year passes, and at the end of year one, the bank has to figure out how much interest we've earned. It's 4% annual interest, so 4% of the money in the bank is $40. Now we've earned $40 in interest, but it is not in our account yet because this is simple interest. We have to let the second year pass before we can actually see any of that money. At the end of year two, the bank is going to determine how much interest we've earned in that second year. And since we only have $1,000 in our account, we still get 4% of that $1,000 or $40 in interest. Now that the two years has passed, the bank is going to take that interest that we've earned and put it in our account. So we have a total of $1,080 in our account. There's a simple interest formula, interest equals principal times rate times time, that you might be able to see in the calculations we've done here. You'll notice that the $40, which was the principal of $1,000 times the interest rate, actually got calculated two times. So the interest, the 40 plus the 40, is the $1,000 times the 4% times the two years. The other way the bank might determine our interest is using compound interest. So let's suppose that we still deposit $1,000 at 4% interest for two years, but the bank is going to compound the interest annually. Here's how that works. Over the two years time from start to finish, we're still going to start with $1,000 and then see what happens at the end of year two. The $1,000 goes in the bank, a year passes, and at the end of year one, the bank determines our interest, which is 4% of the money we have in the bank, which is $40. Now here's the difference. Because the interest is compounded, that $40 in interest goes into our bank account. So now we have the $1,000 we started with plus the $40 in interest, which becomes $1,040 in the bank account. That is our new principal. So now at the end of year two, when the bank determines how much interest we have earned, it's going to take 4% of the $1,040, which means we now have $41.60 in interest for year two. That also goes in our bank account. So at the end of year two, we have $1,081.60. That's a little bit more money than we had with simple interest. You'll also notice that we can figure out how much interest we earned by taking 
the principal that's in the account at the end of the two years and subtracting the principal that we started with. So we earned $81.60 in interest over the two years. Because compound interest is calculated many times over the life of the investment, it's useful to have a formula that can find how much we have in an account at the end of the investment. This is the formula we can use to determine how much money is in the account. The A is the future value of the investment. It's the principal plus the interest. P is the principal. R is the yearly interest rate, always written as a decimal. N is the number of times per year the interest is compounded. That's the number of times per year the interest is calculated. And T is the number of years that we invest the money. So let's look at an example of how to use the compound interest formula. We want to know how much will be in a savings account if $500 is deposited for three years at 2% interest compounded quarterly. A is what we're looking for, the future value. How much is in the account at the end of two years? Remember, that's principal plus interest. The principal that we start with is 500. The interest rate as a decimal is 0.02. N is the number of times per year the interest is calculated. Quarterly means four times a year. And T is the number of years we've invested the money. So it was a three-year investment. Now substituting those numbers in our formula, we get this. Remember, we have to use order of operations to simplify. So inside the parentheses first, we do the division, then the addition. Now we have a multiplication and an exponent. So do the exponent next and then multiply by the 500. And then we're going to round to the nearest hundredth because this does represent money. So we find that we have $530.84 in the account at the end of three years.